Good morning, welcome to Woodlands North. Does this jet boil alternative that comes in around half the price deserve a spot in your pack? Stick around, we're going to find out next. So here is the Fire Maple X3 cooking system. Rumored to boil about 800 milliliters of water in just a few minutes. Now it looks like it's a clone of the jet boil system that's been out for some time. Let's take it apart and see what you get. Okay, so we've got all these parts. Let's put it all together. Here you see the burner and it's got a few notches in there. Turn that and it now attaches itself to the pot. So don't forget that's your heat control and then the canister screws right in here. Okay, you can see it's got a very sturdy handle and you can see it's a little bit top heavy and there's no water yet so you can use this here to stabilize the canister. Okay, so you see here it's got the volume markers starting at the bottom 0 0.4, one in the middle and then at the top for 0 0.8 which I'm guessing is the maxis will hold here. So we'll fill it up right to 0 0.8. Alright, let's get this thing started. So we're going to turn on the gas and push the igniter here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I boiled water, um, it was 0 0.8 liters, that's something like, I don't know, three and a half cups of water. And keep in mind that it's relatively cold, it's about negative two today, there is a light breeze, and it boiled that in right around four minutes. That's a pretty, pretty tall order, pretty well done. So this does work, this little heat exchanger down here does do its job, and um, you know, it's definitely, lives up to the billing. I do not have a jet boil, so I don't know how this compares, but in general this is a very, very good piece of kit. So as far as some of the pros would go, I would say that this is definitely going to save you time. If you're the kind of person that just likes to get, get in, have a quick break, boil up some water, cook up your food, eat and get out, this is definitely going to save you some time. And with that time savings also comes fuel savings. I'm sure that my other stoves would have taken you know six seven minutes another three four minutes which means that there's more more fuel being used so this is definitely very efficient and it's a, a plus for that quality construction it does seem to be pretty well made there are a couple of plastic pieces the uh, parts of the burner are plastic but I've been watching them and so far they look looks like it's all good the one thing that I don't like about it I will say is that you cannot nest your canister in here now I know there's some smaller size canisters, 100 and, I think they're 100 grams or 110 grams. I still think it's really pretty tight. There's very little room in there. Uh, you would definitely need to leave the generic adapter at home and possibly one of those would fit. In general, this stove definitely gets a big thumbs up from me. Now, price-wise, when I bought this, they were regularly about half the price of a jet boil, but I actually got mine on a, there was some door crash or sale and I think I got it from RockyMountainATV.com. At the time it was $30. For $30 this is a steal. I see that they've gone up to $50 now. So keep looking and if you can find a good deal and maybe even $50 is a pretty good deal on this as well. So something you might want to look out for. Thank you friends for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Please write in the comments what you think, other things you want to see, I'd love to hear from you. 
Don't forget to subscribe. I do want to see you in the next video. Take care.